Hey everyone, FPS Chazzle here. Welcome back to Let's Play Subcommand. So I've just gone ahead and set up all the land attack missiles, and so now at this point, kind of just waiting to hit the launch basket, launch point, whatever. Got our anti-shipping missiles loading up, squall loading up. These are all going to take 18 minutes because these were two reloads. Um, I have quick reload off. I think that's a thing that's still in Subcommand. We'll see how long that actually takes. In dangerous waters, that would take 18 minutes. And we have uh, 24 minutes till we approach the launch point. So, at my disposal, I have five anti ship missiles and then six land attacks. So, what I'm thinking is we're going to have ships like here, it seems like, is where the ships are at. They might even be a little further out. So,. I think I'm going to launch all the anti-ship missiles at once on kind of a spread of bearings and then quickly launch the land attacks behind those. I might more or less string those in or not or uh, or something like that. Um I might launch, you know, two anti-ships really quick and then start launching land attacks or I just might shoot all the anti-shippings at first. If they don't hit ships, that's fine. If it keeps land attack missiles alive, that's all I care about. Um so yeah, anti-ship missiles are going to go out first and take the brunt. Hopefully some land attacks can get through. I just want to make sure they don't blow each other up. Look at the carnage. There's just all these <laughs> dead submarines. Okay. Uh, so yeah. Pending any you know, further submerged contacts, which I don't think I'm expecting at this point, I'll meet you at the launch point. Okay, so I just raised the scope, and we there's, there's a ship there, ship there, ship there, and a ship there. I'm not sure if any of these are going to mark, but we, so, so we, we know where some ships are. I have to assume these all have surface-to-air missile capability, but I mean... Okay, yeah, none of them marked. What do you do? Nothing's freaking new there. Uh, might be safe to assume these ships are not moving. I wish I could just put some manual LOBs in here. Uh, got about 2-9, 3 two. It looks like they are indeed moving around. Oh shit, they just crashed. I just missed that in the scope. Holy crap, they just crashed. Uh, Oh my god, they go, I, I knew it looked like they were kind of getting close together, but geez, I didn't think that was what's going on. So two, two Aegis ships are now out of commission. So we might have a chance here, actually, from sheer dumb luck. They all seem to be kind of flanking around ever since those torps went going. They're kind of going crazy. Zero four zero now. We might have a shot at this. <laughs> Alrighty, we are quickly approaching the launch basket. I have my five anti-ship missiles to set to enable at eight nautical miles, so they're going to turn on right around here. I have two going at bearing 030, and two going at, uh, and then three going at bearing 040. Um, yeah, it, I have them set to wide seeker pattern, so they'll both turn on and look for, they'll all turn on and look for targets. Just in the, you know, sending them out there to see what we can get. I think both these guys are, uh, some of them are kind of on the surface. I hope the missiles don't go for that. But I think it should be pretty good. There's all the damn sonar and active 10 nautical mile markers. <laughs> but yeah, we are almost at this launch basket here. Just about, as soon as I get like, I guess, here north of it and just a little away from it will we'll launch. That point is four minutes away and that'll take, you know, how long will that take? Well, about 15 seconds to get there if my calculations are correct. Before we do that, let's go ahead and look. Toad looks pretty empty assuming there's nothing, no one in front of me. Don't see anything there. Looks pretty good. And we are just about here at the launch point, and we are there. So let's go ahead and uh, get these doors open and start commencing firing. 
We will have enough compressed air. I just looked at that. Thought it was going to kind of worry me. I'm going to lose 22% of my char 22 percentage points of charge on this. I currently have about 82. So we'll, we'll, we're going to get all the way down to 60 here. So I'll still have a few more shots left in me. I might as well get this flooded and equalized while I'm at it. And uh, let's go ahead and get started here. Let us go ahead and get started. Okay, that is now equalized. So let's start launching these anti-shipping missiles very quickly here. And then we'll get the land, land attacks going with them too. Uh, let's see. Do I, I want to do these anti-shipping missiles all at first and then start launching land attacks. I think I will do that. So let's, I could have like potentially staggered my land attack waypoints to try and make it so I could launch them all at once and they'll get there at different times. But I kind of just want everything to punch through. So let's go ahead and fire. Uh, I'm going to do a quick little save. Let's do a little save here. Just so I don't have to do that all again. <laughs> Everything set. And fire. Launch external tube three. Yes, the fire. Captain. Launch external tube four. Yes, the captain. Launch tube one. Yes, the captain. Launch tube two. Yes, the captain. Launch tube three. Launching all the missiles. I'm going to put a little more. A little more stagger on the land attack missiles to make sure they uh, don't blow each other up or whatever. So let's uh, run run through and get these bad boys out of here. Launch tube six. Yes, the captain. No, no, no! Don't do that. Fire that one. Open that door, please. And fire. Okay, that one fired a little too quickly, but that's fine. We'll go with it. Okay, all missiles are out. Birds away. That helicopter's probably like, what the fuck is going on? Let's get those loaded up. And what do we got going on? Got a bunch of... Okay, we got... Looks like one SAM <laughs> is launching at my shipping missiles. Otherwise, it looks to be pretty good. This looks to be pretty good. These two guys are too close together. Which is unfortunate, but fine. The seeker heads should be turning on any second now. And they are. Oh, are they all? Are they all going to go for these things? All oh, the missiles. The missiles are starting to drop. They're starting to get for the land attacks. Oh, we're, 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 we're punching through. Missiles are going through. Oh no! It got shot down. They're going for the damaged ships. Damn it! Damn you, Ashton! Of course they're going for the fucking down ships at the cross section of a little thing. God damn it. That was not what I wanted. I guess I set those to I should have waited till I got past those to go. Well, let's see what we got. We got two missiles. That one didn't do anything. There's a sand coming from that way. Is there another Sam on the land, or is that just a, uh, a ship launching that one? Did that one missed or something? What's going on with that? Oh, God. They're all launching. Oh, no. Damn it. Uh, okay. Let's, uh, I'm going to try that again and change those anti-ship missile turn-on points. What, 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 what would make you go for this? It's a mast. You got big-ass ships. All right. All right, we got we got birds away. Birds are flying. Birds are aloft. I set the enable range to 11 nautical miles, which is right at the cusp of these. And I changed the bearing on these to go a little more off to the left. Um, these ones are going at 025 now instead of 030. Uh, okay, th those ones got shot down. All the land attacks are still up and about, up and running. This is looking better than it was. One land attack is down. Missiles are about halfway there. Those two Arley Burks crashing together is what's given us a chance here. <laughs> Got four land attacks left. Uh, let's see here. Okay, anti-ship missiles are dropping. Oh, they're all dropping. Okay, we got anti-ship missiles still going out. Sam's coming in. Coming in for what? I don't know. We got three land attacks left, two land attacks left. Not going as well as it was last time. Our missiles turned on, found the target. Ooh. Going for 
or Harper's Ferry type thing. Powie, got him. Or Sacramento, there you go. This one, I think, has found a target. No, it has not. I think it's just kind of going. Unless there happens to be a ship right on 025. Uh, Sam's coming in. And of course, no one seems to be giving a shit about this one. Not going for anything. Uh, hmm. I just got shot down. Okay. Alright, let's, uh, one or two more tries here. One or two more tries, then I'm just gonna exit the area. Let's raise the scope and see what we can't see. Where are our ships? There's that, I think that's the Harp, the Sacramento thing. There's a ship all the way out there at like 030. Or unless, am I looking at antenna of a sunken ship? I don't think I am. Eh, it's possible that that could be what I'm looking at right now. What else? What else? What else? What else? There's a SAM site that's along there somewhere. I'm not going to worry about that. It's just a waste of missiles. Sacramento type thing. There might be another SAM site over here. That is possible. Because all I'm seeing really is two ships, it looks like. I mean, there could be some further off in the water. But those SAM sites, there could be some SAM sites. I might want to try and see if I can't burn my way a little bit further in. Let's just go ahead and get this stuff up and see what, we, see what we're actually dealing with here. See if there's any new traffic on the net. See if, uh... What kind of ESM stuff we're dealing with here. Ooh, we're getting, we are getting traffic. Are we? Or maybe aren't we? Well, there's something down this way. Harley Burke. Oh, there's another Burke. Maritime Patrol. Guarding my flank. Land-based. Land-based. By the airport. Helicopter. Maritime Patrol. Harley Burke. There's an Harley Burke at 026. Is there? Uh, is it picking up one of these falsely? No. It could be really far in. I'm not sure if that last missile was locked onto it or not. You know what? I'm going to try the end around again. I think I'm going to go for the end around again. We'll launch anti-ship missiles up this way to kind of scare them. And then we'll do the end around. So, yeah, let me set that up. Alright, I got all my missiles heading on this kind of an end around path here. So I'm going to launch all the anti-shipping missiles up this way. I've moved two more of the missiles to go this direction, actually. Um, if there's a potential Burke up there. And then uh, got one still heading off this way that might get a Harper, the Sacramento or whatever. But yeah, I got the rest of my missiles doing the end around. And that maritime patrol I picked up over here is actually an ASW airplane. So once I, these, so this is probably, this is the second to last try. Let me give it another save real quick. What I'm realized I can just do um, I can get another uh, ESM on this the control tower and then I can actually get a solution on that so I can make sure my wait, my missiles are going right on that so I changed course it's a little more due easterly and uh, gonna do this for just a little bit here to get an intersection doesn't have to be for too terribly long um, you know, something like that's probably good. Let's see what we can get. Get back up here to periscope depth. I'm really pushing the envelope, but I want to, you know, make sure I really got what I got. Make sure I'm getting the right stuff here. Yeah, because I'm still getting a ping from, like, this direction. There's a potential ship up that way. Something like this. But there, there are ships out there. Okay, we're up here. Let's raise this up. Let's get another mark on that land base. Lower that. 3-6. I'm going to save this again. I'm being, at this point, I'm just trying to have fun with it. Um, let's do that. Uh, EO2. We can get ourselves a solution on that. Can pinpoint its location to be precise as hell. Make sure our missiles are actually landing right where we want them to. Do, 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 do. Right about here. Just zoom in as far as you can and just get that nailed down right there. 
All right, there you go. Well, my missiles were going to be all the way down here, and they might not have gotten enough of a hit on that. So let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and fix those up, and let's get launching. All right, all missiles are away. Got the anti-ship missiles heading out this way. Got our land attacks going back the other way. So these guys are providing a good distraction right now. Not sure what kind of surface-to-air missile range our enemy has right now to try and go after these guys. But I'm actually, this is going to be a longer, a longer little thing here. So I'm going to up speed a little bit, and we are going to head for the datum. I'm going to have an active countermeasure here to hide my path. Missiles seem to be dropping like flies right now, which is fine. They're doing what they're supposed to be doing. Okay, those are going up. Uh, these are all fine. I don't think anyone's shooting on them. I was doing the staggered launch, but realized they're all taking slightly different flight paths, so I can all shoot them at the same time. These guys are going in. Two missiles left up this way, and I think the diversion is working, because I haven't seen any SAMs going for those Tomahawks down there. I think that's them, actually. <laughs> Not Tomahawks, you know what I'm talking about. So there should be a... Ooh, Powie. There should be, like, a Burk up this way that this missile is heading for. But this is just, like, the SAM gauntlet in here. Okay, that one seems to be going out that way, actually. For these guys. But uh, these are all still, they're still all out here. This one's still up and running. Does this guy have a target? Oh, that's Sam. I think that Sam's going to get this one. Okay. Well, let's just, uh, just up the fireworks a little bit. We might be expecting torps here soon. But uh, if they are shooting Sam this way, they are very sporadic. The diversion may have worked. We shall see. But they are starting to pick off missiles down this way, or at least try to. They are pretty far out of range, so we might actually get some luck down here. One missile is down. This guy looks like he's about to get hit. Two missiles are down. Uh, if I try this again, I might try and refine the waypoints. Just have them go straight out and come in. This, this might be taking a little too long to do. Uh. Ooh, nice, a miss. Haha, -ha, suck it. Suck it. Oh, that one's coming in. That was not going for the other one. Okay, so they're still they're still getting them over the ouchie. Over the land. Oh, this one's about to get hit. It looks like. Ooh, miss. You miss, super miss. Oh. No one else is long. Oh, there's a missile. Oh god. I don't think he's gonna make it. Don't think he's gonna make it. This this it's, there's not as much terrain in the in the way of this as I would have liked there to be. Damn it! Ugh. I said one more try. We'll try one more try. All right, so I got the the land attacks with a slightly different pro flight profile, taking them in a little closer. Uh, I think this should be should be good. I'm trying to just keep them away from other stuff. I had a little bit of a revelation. Why would the Arleigh Burke be all the way back here? One, I don't know. That's like. I don't know, it's really far in. And two, I wasn't seeing any Sams coming from over this way either. So he's got to be, you know, out here somewhere. And none of my missiles are finding him, you know, close to here. So the, the naval range should probably come back for... I'm going to turn those on, you know, maybe even like here, six nautical miles. So let's go set that real quick to six nautical miles. All right, so all missiles heading that way, heading this way. And land attacks are ready to launch, so let's go ahead and get them out there. Alright, missiles, birds are away. Birds are away, birds are flying. We got all, all missiles. Oh man, wow. We got all heading this way. All heading for. See, look, there's a Sam coming out from right around that way. Hopefully. Turning on early enough kind of helps them find a target. Got our land attacks going out their end around way, trying to avoid fire. And they're shooting Deadeye this time with their Sams. Burke must be getting nervous about what's coming his way. Ooh, look at that. Got a lock. Don't get confused by those sunk ships. Oh boy, got two missiles coming in. Oh, he shot for the far one like a dummy. Oh, he got a hit though. Shot for the far one like a dummy, but he got a hit. Oh, what was that weird little splash? Oh, we're in close. We're in close. He's 
using the Sea Whiz and the smaller guns. All those missiles are still flying down there. He's not shooting any surface. Oh, we just shot one really quick. Boom, got ourselves a hit. Not enough to sink. Not a ship killer, but we got a hit. And there's no terminal, terminal supersonic going on. We have missiles still coming this way. Yes, we do. What are we looking at? Does that Sacramento have anti-missile capability? I do not know. But we got surface-to-air missiles coming in. Ooh, we got to help. We got ourselves a hit. There's still a SAM site, and Arleigh Burke, I'm assuming, is still functional because I don't think specific things get damaged in this game. He was dead-eyeing all those anti-shipping missiles that were coming in his way. But our missiles are going out. Hmm. I'm thinking, thinking of stuff. Maybe I should have just sent the. If I sent these straight in, they'd be getting the same kind of. They'd be getting torn apart like everything else. This is going to be a hit, I think. Birds are flying, birds are flying. Missiles are coming in. I don't think we're going to. They seem to be shooting them better than they were last time. Man. <laughs> Another one bites the dust. I don't see any others coming in for the time being. I kinda just wanna be like, just go for it. Just go. There's gonna be more. You can bet your bottom dollar that. Now there's one right there. There's gotta be another what is that? Did that come from the water or the land? I don't know man. I do not know. I might just go for another up the gut again. I'm not sure. Ooh, ooh, they missed. Ooh, they missed. Ooh, miss. Super miss. I kind of want to tell the missile, like, go, just go, turn, turn in. Head for the base. Oh, shit. Oh, there comes another missile. Oh, the missile. Maybe it would be enough to just send them around like that. That could be a potential possibility. Oh, let's see what we got. Oh, you're going to hit. Are you going to miss? Oh yes, miss, near miss, super miss. Go, go, go. ETA, 10 seconds. Go, no, it's gonna be more like 15, but go. Go, 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 no, no. That's not coming, that's not a thing. No, don't worry about it. Oh, miss, miss. <sighs> don't hit, do not hit my miss, oh, you son of a bitch. Oh yeah, 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 go, go, oh. Oh, do it. Do it, Daddy, do it. Oh, yes. Hit. Go. Did I readjust these waypoints? I might not have. Oh, do not shoot my missile down. Oh, no. No. Oh, yeah, I missed. Super miss. Near miss. Yeah. I don't think I readjusted where my missiles were landing. Damn it. Did that do anything? I did damage it, but I didn't kill it. So do I do I take what's been given to me or do I just turn tail and get the hell out of here? I don't know. Ugh. You know what? I'm gonna head for clearing the datum. But uh I can make a bonus video where I keep trying to go at this if you so desire to see such a thing. And I've not been loading up any weapons in that meantime. <laughs> 65 centimeter, 65 centimeter, skvoll. I'll reload this. So I'm gonna bring the toad back in. We're gonna get a little deeper here. Go to depth. Zero, try and clear four, this datum six, here. Meters. Depth control I. Cause they're gonna be coming my way. And uh, yeah, right on the money, 60 psi. Well, that's not psi, whatever. Air bank volume stuff going on. So let's go ahead and uh, try and clear this datum here. It's going to take a little bit. And you know what? Uh, this could be kind of dicey. I should probably save this and keep this in here. Let's get a little deeper. Five, five, five two meters looks to be Go about to good. Zero, five, just going to get deeper meters. as we head depth out. Control, slightly I. deeper. Slightly deeper, but I'm just kind of trying to head for that. I want to get the toad in so I don't have to worry about it. Off. Very good. We are getting out of here. I guess we could potentially go 
a little faster. We're just trying to get Two out. Revolutions for eight nuts. It is kind of shallow channel area. We're not really expecting much. Through I can make this a little more two, difficult one, for them. Steering guy. Don't know if I want to leave a trail of active countermeasures heading my way. Uh, but we're gonna we're gonna head. Try and be a little a little bit two, of a nuisance one, here. Three, course, rudder left, steer course, one, three, Don't want seven, to guy. speed up too much. There's a big difference between eight times and sixteen times speed. But I do want to clear this datum and get out of here. We are going currently at eight times speed, so this is a, this isn't going to take much steer very course, long at all one, to get out three, here. Seven, uh, we can get rudder another right countermeasure out here one, just to nine, nine, just to keep guy. them on their toes. That squall loaded up. Rather quickly. That's interesting. Yeah, I don't know what that's supposed to signify, but it loaded up rather quickly. So active countermeasure out there, and uh, yeah, just resume that waypoint follow at this point. Let's get the hell out of here, and I will make a debrief for the entirety of what we did here, and then I might make Mission a bonus video. So thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one, and as always, good hunting. Thank you.